Hey everybody, welcome to Golf with Petey. Uh, we've got a five club challenge going here uh, with Herb. So let's kick it off. Number one, Herb pulling driver as always. So I just flared this one out to the right a little, or to the left a little bit. Not too bad though, still in play. So then I'm going to pull two iron, just try to get something out there in the middle of the fairway. Caught a little bit thin, but right down the middle, so rolled out pretty good. Gave me about uh, 165 in. Serb's going to play first here. And uh, he's going to come up just a little bit short. Uh, just off the front of the green there. And then I got about 165. Uh, pretty much a full six iron here, so gonna just try to get something up on the green. Yeah, hit a pretty good shot there. It was at the, at the stake pretty much the whole way, just a little bit of a draw. So that left me uh, this. 25 30 footer here for birdie down the hill to the front and that is just about a putt right in the middle of the stake it's like perfect, I guess. and herb chipped up to here so this is his putt There's coming any more center cup than that Didn't quite hit that one. So Herb walks away with a bogey. I walk away with a bird. And we're headed to the second hole. Oh, you have to stay, stay six feet apart. You know, don't want to give anybody the right idea or the wrong idea. <laughs> All right, guys. We're back here on uh, Golf with Petey. You guys just saw us play the first hole there. Uh, we're actually doing something a little different today. Uh, the class had told us we couldn't bring our actual bags out here. So we're just doing a five club challenge. Uh, I brought my two iron, my six iron, my nine iron, my 60 degree, and my putter. What'd you bring along there? I got my driver, five iron, got a eight iron, as well as 60 degree, and my putter. Oh yeah, 60 degree and putter are very crucial out here. You need those for chipping, possible sand situations. So, like I said, you guys just saw us play the first hole there. I made a three. Herb had an easy bogey. Uh, didn't quite get his par putt there, so I guess the stake kind of scared him a little bit, but. Uh, we're going to hop on the second hole here and, and keep it going. All right, so move to number two. Our four, just a little bit dog leg left. Going to pull two iron here. And just overcooked it just a little bit. Uh, skirted into the trees over there on the left. But still very much in play, probably just a punch out. Herb's going to step up with her again. Another one kind of flared out to the left there. Might get over on the number three if you're lucky. Car path? And, uh, yeah, just trees, so. All right, we got a couple punch out situations here. You guys can see mine, I'm just over there to the right. Herbies didn't quite get through the trees here. I'm assuming he's probably got his five iron out. Oh wow, what a play. Ricochets it off the tree, up onto the tee box for a perfect pitch down to the green. What a shot. I don't know how you pulled that one off there, Herbie, but that was impressive. All right, so I just pulled a six iron here. I uh, just kind of tried to, to bend something a little bit around the corner. Uh, the pin is kind of just right of, of that uh, that tree right there. So I'm just going to try to kind of bend something around. Got a really solid cont. I uh, just got a little bit too much on it, and it rolled through the 
the back of the grid to the bunker there, so. Got Herb up here on the third tee box where his second shot ended up. So I was just going to try to flop something down there and get something close for par. Pretty good shot, Herb. delicate bunker shot here just came out a little bit heavy I uh, just gave myself a 20 footer there for par so we're both looking at about 20 footers here for par Herb's gonna go first Didn't quite give that one enough break, so he's going to tap in for an easy bogey. This is a pretty pretty straightforward left to right putt. Just kind of hit it a little bit too hard and actually ran it at the camera here, so I had to uh, <laughs> readjust the camera. Yeah. So got a bogey, pretty much uh, straight up the hill, a little bit of right to left on it, and uh, did not give it enough break, kind of trailed off there, so nice little putt double, headed to number three. So Herb's going to tee off first, driver again, just try to get something out the middle. As you can tell by the tracer, Herb absolutely smoked one. Put it all the way down there by the bunkers. And I'm going to pull two iron again. That's my biggest club. So I'm just going to try to play something up the right and draw back into the middle. Did exactly that. So Herb and I are both sitting pretty in the middle of the fairway. And we both got wedges into the green. So Herb's going to go first because I had to run back to my setting up the camera. And this one just kind of out on Herb a little bit. Hit a really good shot, just rolled out up onto the edge of the green. And I had about 90 yards, so it was a pretty full 60. And it just came out a bit hot. I uh, ended up carrying it up. Actually, almost hit the camera. Uh, so put that one up a little bit higher than Herb's on the back of the back of the green there. Herb's gonna play first. We'll putt out of the rough. Just moseyed it down there, and uh, gave him that one for a easy par. So on this one, I just tried to pretty much hit it as straight up as I could, make it land. Uh, it's pretty much all downhill all the way, so just get the get the 60 under it and, and uh, pop it straight up. And hit a pretty shot. Uh, I liked the result of it. Just rolled a little bit past the hole uh, to give myself about a four footer for par. And I just rammed it straight past, so 
tap in bogey. Headed to number four. Bolt two over. So number four was playing, uh, I think we had it at about 135. Uh, so Herb just tried to kind of cut down to eight and took a little bit too much off of it. Ended up short in front of the green there. And I had uh, my nine iron, so I just went and tried to smash nine iron to get it all the way there. And I made pretty solid contact. I just kind of overcooked it a little bit. So it's going to end over there just off the edge of the left. Uh, just right there in the rough. The edge of the green. So Herb's got a, a flop shot here. Over the over the hump there in front of the green. Played a really good shot. Uh, bounced forward on him and rolled out a little bit. The greens were rolling pretty firm. Uh, so we were actually getting a lot of roll out on him. Made it pretty pretty difficult to, to stop something. So I'm just gonna bump and run a nine iron here. And didn't quite didn't quite break for me. I uh, just kinda stayed out to the right and left myself a kind of a downhill slider. So Herb's gonna putt first here for, for par. He's got quite this himself. And it just died right there at the end. Just had it pretty good. Just hit that hill and died off. So another tap in bogey for Herb. Another four or five footer here for par for me. And another one that I just left out too high. And rolled that one back in. So another bogey. And that is uh, three over for the both of us through four. So we go to number five. Dog leg. We're just going to hit driver here. Try to get something up to the corner. Another one he kind of flared out. But uh, got past the trees. So it's not going to hurt him. He's going to have a shot at the green. And I got my two iron again. Just try to hit something. Uh, really hard down the right side and let it roll over. Very pleased with that shot. Just kind of uh, rolled around and uh, rolled up into kind of the side of a bunker in the in the grass. And Herb's going to play first here. He's going to have about 150. And he kind of flared it off to the right a little bit. To the left. Yeah, flared off to the left. So he's just off the left side of the green there. And I'm going to go next. I have about one four from kind of a side hill lie. Uh, so I just try to knock down a six iron and just try to rope something in there. Kind of punch it. And I just left it out to the right a little bit. But still caught the front edge of the green there. So... Pretty interesting shot coming up, uh, up and over that that knoll on the front left side of the green there. Herb from the left rough, just tried to flop something. Looks like he got a little bit too much of it. Kind of carried the stick a little bit. Did give himself their 20 footer for par there. So here I just tried to. Uh, to chip this one off the green, just pick it clean off the surface um, and try not to lay the solder. Uh, I was able to, to pick it pretty clean, kind of Gary Woodland style, and leave it exactly where I wanted, right there on the, the top of that ridge, and feed down to the, to, the, uh, to the hole. So, par per herb. Didn't quite get enough on it. So we both had pretty much the same par putt, about four or five feet, uh, just kind of straight down the hill. Not too much in the putt. 
pretty much just straight it. So uh, not that not that complicated of a putt. So I was able to pull that one straight into the stick. Not sure if that counts as an up and down or a two putt. Uh, I was on the green with my first one, but chipped it. So not sure how it equates, but a uh, good up and down for me. And Herb was able to roll him in, roll him, roll his in as well for a bogey. So headed to number six. Another driver here for Herb. And just uh, another one that he uh, flares out to the left. Uh, he's going to be over there in the trees. Uh, kind of an interesting second shot coming up. And I uh, pulled two iron again. And just kind of tried to uh, hold off a fade, kind of roll something up the, the corner. Uh, kind of try to cut some. And ended up kind of dipping down and leaving it open. And kind of just pushed it right over into the trees. But... He got through the tree and went kind of up into uh, the side hill over there. So so here Herb has his five iron. He's going to touch it through the trees here. Get close to the green. Oh, you dog. Good shot. And I had about 175 here for my second shot. I uh, just tried to blast my six iron over the trees. Left it out a little bit to the right. Uh, got myself in trouble a little bit up in the shrub up there. Uh, but I was uh, eventually able to find it up. So we got Herb here for his third shot. Uh, if he would have carried this probably a foot more, it would have been perfect. But just stuck in the fringe right there and uh, stayed short. So. Here he is for par from the fringe. Quite enough on it, so another easy tap in bogey for Herb. And I'm up there in shrubs, so just uh, just got my tee out and just tried to get club on ball. Um, a decent lie, but. Uh, a lot of stuff going on around here, so just tried to pop it out and ended up uh, just kind of rolling out pretty much perfect. So, got myself out of trouble there. Easy tap in par and went to number seven. Kennedy, the, uh, the new sound that you're looking for instead of falling in the cup. All right, we go to number seven, the par five. Herb is pulling driver yet again. And he's gonna hit this one pretty good. Uh, just kind of overdrew it over there to the right. Uh, the, right. the grass bunkers over there. And I've got the two iron in my hand again, so I uh, just kind of do what I've been doing and uh, something hard down the right side and roll it over. Caught this one a little bit on the toe, so it uh, got down pretty quick, uh, but it rolled out pretty nice. So I just ended up over there on the left edge of the fairway. Herb's got a pretty clean lie up here in the grass. He's going to just pull a five iron and try to lay up here. Miss it right through it good shot all right so i've got the two iron just kind of try to hit a layout here there and didn't quite get under it kind of uh oh, kind of topped a little bit so still rolled out fine uh That's me great. quite a bit more for my third shot than i want uh, i've got about 165 uh, from center away here so just pull the six iron in a nice little uh, pier draw landed it pretty much in the perfect spot and it kind of uh,
fed down to the hole a little bit there. So I actually gave myself a pretty good look at birdie. So I heard a wedge and try to get something up there. And uh, just came up just a hair short. Uh, he's there on the fringe looking for a uh, birdie putt. Gave it a pretty good run. Just kind of snuck by the hole there. And another uh, easy tap in. So par for her. So got this birdie putt here. Just a little bit of a left to right. A little bit down the hill. And uh, I think if there was a cup, it might have caught the left side of the hole. But since we're playing sticks, didn't hit the stick. So just an easy tap in. Par. And we're moving to number eight. Herb's going to go first. As 8-iron, just going to try to kind of saw something off. Uh, we got about 1v5 in, so he just uh, pulled it over to the to the right, over by that tree over there. And uh, I've got my 9-iron in my hand, and just pretty much full 9-iron. Caught it really uh, Thought I was going pretty straight at it. I uh, just didn't get enough, and just came up. A little bit short, but pretty uh, forward putt. So Herb's over there by the tree in the nice straw. Just caught that first one just a little bit fat. So he's got another chip here from the fringe. That one just came up a little bit short. So he's sitting there, line three. Spurdy putt, kind of a double breaker. Uh, went a little bit right first and then uh, kind of came back to the left. So just played it pretty much straight out. And just hit the stick there. So uh, walking out of uh, number eight with a bird there. And Herb's just slicked by. So uh, for Herb. So we're headed to uh, number eight. We're headed to number nine. Uh, plus two and plus seven. So, number nine T par five. Herb uh, kind of topped that one, but right down the middle, still. Haven't seen you do that in a while, Herbie. So we got another two iron here off the ninth tee. And this is probably one of my best tee shots of the day. Uh, hit a nice swing and hook out to the right, right back down into the middle of the fairway. So it's pretty pleased with that one. So Herb's here, he's got his five, just trying to lay up uh, somewhere over that tree. Flared it a little bit to the left, but ended up okay up there by the carp. Another two iron here looking to lay up. An absolute rope, just kind of overcooked a little bit, but uh, it stayed just off the edge uh, of the fairway over there on the left. No trouble. Third shot here for Herb. Uh, it's a pretty good looking shot. Just came up a little bit short of the green. And I've got my third shot here from the right left side of the fairway. I uh, got a nine iron, just kind of tried to saw something off and flared it out to the right uh, in the front right bunker so not a great shot so Herb's got a little wedge here just gonna try to pop something uh, over the uh, bunker there and got over it but still came up a little bit short just stayed in the edge of the rough right there but uh, pretty straightforward up and down for Herb there So another one that I just tried to uh, splash out of the bunker here and uh, another one that I just caught a little bit too much sand and uh, just barely got it out of the bunker there into the rough. So we're both looking at uh, fifth shot from the rough. Good chip there by Herb. Easy bogey. And 
straightforward chip uh, for me just right down the hill kind of got to get it moving really give that one much of a shot but still an easy uh, tap in bogey so both got out of there with uh, disappointing bogeys on our five and uh, yeah that's that's it that is the end of the nine so uh, final score I ended up uh, plus 339 herb shot plus 844 uh, thank you guys for watching uh, if you guys will uh, follow my social media at golf with Petey and subscribe to the channel I would really appreciate it